I'll write you battlers. You know what it is, Jay Devin back at it with another Go Battle League video. Season one is almost here. It's it's literally around the corner. It's tomorrow. See? <laughs> Season one, as we know, is gonna be tomorrow. Um, starts Friday, March 13th at 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. You notice this um, image here that I have like over the gameplay that the hashtag battler thing, the video editing app that I used to use to speed up screen recordings is like, it's broken, I'm not sure. So I used a new one, but it turns out they put a watermark on like, the entire video so i'll get it figured out but for right now that's the, <laughs> that's going to be there the whole time on this video yeah so since season one is actually going to start tomorrow i'm going to start featuring uh, meta lines and things that i like to use in great league that actually win and win you know pretty consistently so this set for this video today was a perfect set it was a five wins out of five um battles played set and um it's pretty simple too the the strategy again i put right there um and the iv spreads for all of my pokemon are also up there and the strat is lead defense form Deoxys swap to Registeel, and it's all about the energy leads, which is why we use the Registeel swap, because even with um, shields up, he can pre be uh, pretty devastating for the most part against like the entire meta if he has an energy lead. That's why Registeel is, is, is so amazing in, in the Go Battle League. He's just, not only is he a tank, but he can take shields, and if he doesn't, then he can actually go for KOs, even with a lower attack stat, so he's pretty nuts, but um, for the most part, with this specific team, um, it does have, you know, the core of the Azumarill Registeel, right? So it's, I guess it's a BBML, a Metal Line, whatever. But <laughs> um, the Defense Form Deoxys specifically, I do like to lead with in, the, in uh, most cases just because of his versatility against the meta. I don't want to say he's a safe lead because really I don't think there's any such thing as a safe lead. Like um, something that could shut him down pretty hard is a, a Haunter lead. And don't be shocked if you actually see that at some point because it's a haunter like shuts him down really really hard so with the uh, with the defense form deoxys obviously you're going to be running counter rock slide and then uh the thunderbolt set the thunderbolt can hit azumarill here for super effective it can also hit the steels such as registeel for neutral and then of course the counter can deal super effective to the steels rocks etc and then you can have the rock slide for the flyer coverage of um, Altaria. You can even use it against Skarmory. They can be kind of baity against the Skarmory. Um, but yeah, that's why I like Defense Form Deoxys and I like to lead with him because of his versatility and how flexible he is as a pick. So um, obviously there are particular weaknesses with this team. You know, obviously, you know, if they lead Haunter, for example, and I swap to Registeel and they answer with Whiskash, like I don't think that'd be a very common line at all. I've literally never run into that when I run this line, but if they do, like that would completely shut it down. But I mean, you can say that about pretty much any team, right? It, <laughs> if, 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 if you get hard counter like that in the Go Battle League, there's really just not much you can do about it. So um, again, that's the point of this video and using this team and showing you these battles and this set for um, five wins out of five battles done is because this worked very consistently for me. So. Um, the Azumarill on the, I'm um, sorry, the set on the Azumarill that we are going to be running is Bubble, Ice Beam, and then the Hydro Pump. So um, I do not opt to use Play Rough with this comp because I already have answers with the Deoxys and even Registeel can, you know, win and or sometimes lose against an Azumarill. Um, but I do definitely opt for the Ice Beam because of one Pokemon in particular excuse me, because of one Pokemon in particular, which is a uh, Meganium, right? So Meganium super tanky for the most part. If shields are down, even if you have the Ice Beam, you know, if that Meganium is shields down is that, and is at full health, um, you need to have back-to-back -back Ice Beams to win. Otherwise you're you're going to lose just because just because Meganium is so tanky. But, you know, nonetheless, having that coverage with Ice Beam on the Azumarill and this specific comp, I feel like is a definitely a must have. Then for the most part, obviously, you know, it kind of sucks if you get stuck in a mirror and all you have to throw at the opposing Azumarill is Hydro Pump, but you can still, you can still do that. You can still kind of work with it. But um, that's why particularly we also um, comp with the Defense Form Deoxys and the Registeel. Because if we do find ourselves in a bad spot in an Azumarill mirror um, with this team composition, we, we are definitely going to have answers. We are going to be safe. Um, against that Azumarill. So, you know, for the most part, I'll save a shield. I'll let them get off a play rough. If they can get them off back to back, depending on how the battle's going, I might use two shields. But for the most part, like, I don't care about the Azumarill, Azumarill mirror, at least um, with this team. And also, I really don't care about Altaria. Again, the worst things, um, I feel like, yeah, the worst things overall that this team struggles with is uh, it can struggle against Alolan Marowak a little bit. 
uh, but definitely it struggles against Haunter. So, <laughs> oh man. I, I mean, I've, I've tried so many times to develop some kind of like perfect line that has no weaknesses. Really, I don't think that's that's ever going to happen. There's always going to be at least one hole. But again, like I've said, for the most part, this team gives me all the coverage against like everything that I need. Now, you can see this person's being, a, I want to say, a little bit greedy with their Lolan Marowak and they're going for the baits when I feel like they don't need to go for the baits. Like right there, he should have just, you know, gone for a Shadow Ball or even used another shield. I'm not sure why he chose to play the Alola Marowak, Alola Marowak the way he did that time, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So he has his Azumarill. Here's the Toxicroak. I think this actually was a situation where we ended up in an Azumarill mirror, and it was kind of painful because we both have, I think we both have Ice Beam and Hydro Pump in this <laughs> in this battle. So, I mean, after the Toxicroak is, is out of here and it's gone, the rest of the battle is pretty painful. So I think he goes for a Mud Bomb, which is going to KO the Deoxys, then when I come back in with my Azumarill, I want to get in one bubble, at least one, I don't want to be too greedy, but one bubble, then throw the Ice Beam, because I know I'll want a little bit of additional energy for when this Azumarill comes in, because I know this mirror match is going to be super close, it's going to be super painful, and it's basically going to come down to, you know, one HP, or if they have play Rough Hydro Pump, which I really doubt, because when I came back in, they threw the Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump right away, right? So. There's another Hydro Pump that they threw. I'm able to throw mine. Now look, look how close this is. This is crazy. So I get the excellent, throw the Hydro Pump. Ooh, GG's trainer. I definitely think that that either came down to them not hitting an excellent with their Hydro Pump or me just having, you know, better IVs or a better IV spread on my Azumarill. Because, you know, I do have at least, at least I have 14 defense. I don't know if that's going to be a break point at all in that mirror match or not. I didn't run or look into any of the numbers, but nonetheless, GG's trainer now. You know, even though we can kind of uh, fight the Altaria in the um, in that lead, leading with Defense Form Deoxys, Altaria is just such like a powerhouse uh, with its damage output, especially now that, you know, Dragon Breath is fixed and it's not Lagon Breath anymore. For, for the most part, it's not Lagon Breath anymore. Um, but that's what, that's what, that's the, the third part, third part of the strategy, right? Energy lead. So even though I know I can put up a fight against the Altaria, I'd rather come in with the Registeel like immediately swap as quick as i can because with that energy lead it can be again super devastating and i'm comfortable doing that because even if i get countered i can make up for it between the azumarill and the defense form deoxys and they were a little hasty this is where i caught them you know with my energy lead situation because i swapped out into the uh, azumarill and they basically they did a blind swap into their um, alteria right they know they're falling behind on energy and they're falling behind on pacing for the battle so that's what that's what I do like about this comp. It's it's a little snaky. I mean, it's a you know it's a core meta line. It is a tryhard line. But honestly, when season one hits and things start to you know actually get official and whatnot, it's not going to be the preseason anymore. I want to win. So you're going to start to see um, lines and teams like this for me more consistently that are going to get us hopefully to rank ten. Well, I want to say. I don't know, really we're just gonna have to see what actually happens and what Niantic decides to do with the, um, what is it, the numbers and the rankings and whatever after the preseason ends. It would be interesting to see if we, if we, if like everybody does start all over from a completely blank slate. I would be okay with that, but you know, we'll, we'll just have to see. They ended up quitting out um, for that one, Gigi's trainer. And going into the next battle against uh, Zelpasio, Zelpasio. Pretty sure it's Zelpasio. Zelpasio here. So I open up with the, again, Defense Form Deoxys, and they open up with the Skarmory. Okay, so in this matchup, it's a, it can also be kind of even. They end up coming in with the uh, Swampert. So they did kind of an aggro swap into the Swampert. They throw the Hydro Cannon into my Azumarill, and I like how tanky I am in um, I am in this matchup for the most part. But now I know they've built up enough energy that if they have Sludge Wave, it's going to... If, if not completely KO, it's gonna get really close to a KO um, at that range. So now I'm basically just gonna try and, I was gonna go for like a, a farm down potentially with Bubble if I was able to, um, you know, call their bait and just take a Hydro Cannon, but I didn't feel like it was worth it at this point, right? Because it's Swampert, he can access all of his charge moves and everything so quickly. Don't, don't play games against the Swampert, it's not worth it. So um, even though the Rock Slide doesn't do that much at all, um, to the Swampert in this matchup. I'm okay with it because I should be able to counter down 
And this is kind of what I wanted to happen. So now that I have access to this rock slide, I can at least throw the rock slide at the Scorn, but I don't have much health left because they threw a Hydro Cannon. Um, so that doesn't give them much farming opportunity. And then I'm gonna be able to, you know, work the comp that way. It's kind of part of the strat. Um, kind of kind of a sacrificial swap a little bit, kind of. Um, but, you know, since they played it out and they got rid of my Deoxys, I can basically go to Farm City with the Registeel, work the Switch Clock, come back into my Azumarill, take a hit. And then what I'm praying for is being able to bubble down. But look, they had <laughs> Charizard in the back. GG's trainer. I built up this energy for that Hydro Pump. Charizard is going to be Gonzo History. And as well as the Swampert, we just bubbled down. And then we also bubbled down for, a, I guess, a simultaneous KO on this Garmory. GG's trainer. And that was it for the whole set. Again, five out of five. Strat is super simple. Lead Defense Form Deoxys, Swap Registeel. It's all about those energy leads. I think we were um, able to catch this Thunderous first try. Heck yeah, first try, excellent throw. Got him, dude. GG's Thunderous. Battlers, that is it for this video. I know this one was short, sweet, and to the point today, but sometimes it is better that way. Part of me is like, you know, really nervous about what they're going to do when season one hits, but also, you know, there's still that, that inner fanboy part of me that's like, I just can't wait to see what they do. Really, like, re really, I am excited. I can't hide it. I don't want to try and act like, you know, don't act like, don't act like you're too cool. Just admit it. You are, you're, you're excited too. I know you are. You are, you got to be just as excited, dude. Season one for Go Battle League. And remember too, we do have all these crazy events going on for the month of March to take advantage of as far as PVP to gain Stardust and to gain um, pretty good picks for PVP as well. Um, this weekend specifically, remember we do have the Altered Form Giratina Special Raid Weekend. There's no exclusive move, unfortunately, for the Giratina Raid Weekend, but you know the Altered Form is very, very, very good in Ultra League, and also it's very good in uh, Masters League as well too. So even if you um, just candy farm the raids with the Altered Form, that same candy is going to be able to apply to the Origin Form Giratina. So even though it's a different form, they don't have different candies because they are the same Pokemon. So you know, worst case scenario, even if you don't want Altered Form Giratina, you don't feel like you need it. In my case, for example, I really don't think I need it, but I know for sure, I'd, I'd want one shiny for sure, but I know for sure I need those candies. Um, to get my Giratina Origin for Master League. But yeah, again, that's it for this video. So subscribe if you feel my vibe, power up, punch the notification bell for all that PvP content. That is it for this video. We'll see you in the next video, battlers. Have a good stinking day.